Hi traders, this is Fox Nelson and I'm back again today with another six trades. Today's date is May the 28th and I'm using my new Pro Scalper trading system. Now some of these trades as the one you're looking at right here they were based on a great way to trade and some of them were um, I was just trading the pullback pullbacks um, like to the to the goal line so before I get into that though I would like to inform you that all trading systems will work less than 50 percent of the time it took me eight years and over 700 trading systems to learn that now to get that up to 80 or 90 percent success rate you'll have to learn how to trade the flow of the market which is what I teach you will also have to learn trade management and money management. To be successful in trading, all you need is a lot of chart time and a lot of education. I provide the education. You must buy this education and then you must do the homework or you will fail at trading. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. This will encourage me to do more of these videos. If you leave your name and email address, I will put you on my email list for free weekly trading tips. Remember what I just said, and it is very important information if you wish to succeed at trading. So let's get into these trades. First trade, pound dollar. Now, I never know which pair is going to take off and give me more than 10 pips. And that is why I usually do more than like three or more trades every day. Most days it's between five and 10. And today I did six. So on this pound dollar trade, got in right at this cursor here. Scalper was saying to uh, sell from this point. So I got in the trade, should have got out as it went down there, but um, I was looking at a bunch of trades and slightly distracted, but nonetheless, I, I know when it comes back, it'll give me a second chance to close out the trade. So that's where I got in. Stop was definitely um, out of the way. I just put it in there as a, emergency uh, in case catastrophe hits and of course uh, I ended up closing out the trade here with seven pips and seven pips on the pound dollar paid seven hundred dollars okay let's move on to the next trade Euro Aussie now I took uh, the bulk of these trades relatively early this morning round eight I took one a little bit later as I saw the setup took the trades and I closed them all out as you can see right around 12 minutes to 15 minutes after 10. I like to be done trading anytime uh, between 9 and 10 and that allows me to have the rest of the day to do as I please which is usually uh, doing videos, training videos, uh, YouTube videos and talking to traders. Now in this particular trade, I knew that the trend was up. I even drilled down the lights from the higher time frames, but there was showing strong resistance from a higher time frame. So I decided to grab a few pips on the pullback. Let's see where I got in at. As I said, once, especially once it hit this ADR, did do one more little cycle up, never did hit the stop. Went against me 13 pips and um, I closed it out here as it was stalling out. Looks like I got 12 pips and 12 pips on the Euro Aussie paid $925. Now this way of trading is called how to like trading pullbacks. And of course, once it came around this area, I could have scalped it again if I wished to continue trading and grab another uh, 
17 or 20 pips. But once I hit my daily quota, which is 100 or more pips, and for sure I got well over 100 pips, um, I am done trading for the day. Now, it is okay to trade against the trend, but, but just remember you'll get a lot more pips going with the trend. Okay, let's move on to the next trade, pound yen. So, from the higher time frame, and when I say higher, on the Pro Scalper, the higher time frame is um, 15 minutes. Remember, this is only a scalping system. And of course, if it goes over 10 pips, um, you know, I call that a bonus. So on the five minutes, I was monitoring it. Everything was screaming to sell, including the Pro Scalper. So I took the trade at this point. And I just put in a, you know, a, a default stop of only 17 pips. I knew if it was going to go up there, probably if it went any higher than this, around 10 pips um, would have held. And then at this point, I closed out the trade. Looks like with 18 pips. And 18 pips on the pound yen paid $1,637. Love this uh, Pro Scalper as uh, many of the trades you can get away with um, a very small stop like 10 or 15 pips. Had a trader asking me if, if I have a system that you that they can use um, with a relatively small um, stop. Okay, let's move on to the next trade pound CAD. Let's drag and drop this up, see where I got in at. On this trade, I was also on the five minutes. I did check the higher time frames, and it was suggesting going down. And so that's exactly uh, what I did. Way, way back here, there was a sell signal. Pull the trigger. I knew that it had a chance it could go back to the moving averages. So getting in at this point did go against me approximately 16 pips. And I closed out this trade, looks like with 34 pips. And this is what I mean by, you know, you can start off with a uh, scalping um, thoughts and everything, of course, um, past the 10 pips. Um, no, I, I definitely call that a bonus. And those 34 pips on the pound cat paid $2,818. Okay, let's move on to the next trade, Euro CAD. And by the way, these are my nine workhorses here. These are the pairs that I usually just focus on daily as they um, pump out the most number of pips. And sometimes I'll throw up uh, here include um, dollar cat as I'm from Canada and I like taking a look at gold as it moves a lot of points every day so let's drag and drop this up got the sell signal from here higher time frames was suggesting uh, price action going down so that's exactly what I did I sold it didn't go well, went three pips against me, exactly the way I love trading. And finally, uh, when it got around the eight average daily range here, and I was happy with the totals at the bottom, I closed it out with 36 pips. And 36 pips on the Euro CAD paid $2,983. We're moving on to the last trade, Euro New Zealand. Let's see what happened here. Also sold this pair as I did with all the other ones. Now again, this was a trade after I analyzed the charts, higher time frames, hitting strong resistance, and I knew that it would go back at least minimum to the goal line, and that's exactly what I was aiming for. 
So it's going against the uh, trend, which is up. Not a big deal. Once you learn how to trade all these different ways, you will realize that you can go in both directions. Only went seven pips against me and I closed out the trade right here on this red candle. Looks like I closed it out with 42 pips and 42 pips on the Euro New Zealand paid $3,046. So another great day of trading. Easy trading using my Pro Scalper. Today's pip total was 149 pips and those 149 pips paid $12,111. So if your trading system is not producing on a daily basis like my Pro Scalper, just to let you know that um, my very best top systems, will they will all produce the same kind of results. But if you're not getting good results, I suggest you get your hands on this system. All you got to do is look right below this video and you'll see this right up Pro Scalper system. I do charge $250 for it and I teach how to trade the flow of the market. If you don't learn this, you will fail. My Pro Scalper system comes with four gigabytes of training and you'll get an exact copy of my system on your MT4 platform. Now it comes with four, five MT4 templates. 10 custom indicators, and of course my favorite meter. I also included a lot of PDF books, a lot of Word documents, and I threw in nine bonus videos, as this is what you're going to need. A lot of education to succeed. Now there's a lot of ways to trade, and I do teach a lot of ways to trade, and um, that is why there's 42 training videos. Now. The best way to trade is a great way to trade. Um, the one at the right hand side here, this is not, a, not does not fall under that category as I was just trading the pullback, which is right here, how to trade pullbacks. So what you can do is um, put this video on pause, read everything here. If you have any uh, questions, quite simple pick up the phone and call me here's my number and if you live too far just send me an email remember there's an underscore here now, I do prefer Skype and um, if you click on this link we will have Skype connection and through Skype screen sharing I'll give you a free session and at that point I'll answer your questions and show you some free some tips and tricks for totally free so let's move along here um, if you click on this link right here you will see 32 screenshots of all the trigger systems I've been building over the years so that just about wraps up this video and another day of trading and um, I will repeat it one more time if if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So until the next uh, video, um, good luck with your trading and remember uh, to keep yourself and your family safe. Okay, bye for now.